Hi, my name's Sam. I'm a business owner. Today I am comparing Dropbox and my move to OneDrive. For more reviews like this, click the link below. For products such as OneDrive and Dropbox, it's about cloud storage. It's about easy access to all our files across multiple devices, time zones, offices, across all my teams. And that's why we uh, adopted and, and looked for this type of software. A big part of cloud storage is integration with the rest of our softwares. And OneDrive does that. OneDrive integrates across the Microsoft ecosystem. That's why I migrated from Dropbox, which I've been using for many years beforehand, but shifted to OneDrive because it fitted with the 365 package, Word, SharePoint, you know the deal. Dropbox looks a bit better. I prefer using Dropbox in terms of the UX, the user experience. Um, it fits nicely in my Finder or Explorer window. And that's what I, I do miss about Dropbox. I'd say Dropbox is the easier of the two to get started with. It's very friendly. It integrates seamlessly with your OS on your laptop or tablet. Uh, OneDrive, like the rest of the Microsoft ecosystem, takes a little more tweaking, a little more patience for onboarding, for learning, for uh, building it up and feeling confident using the system. Uh, my experience was OneDrive took that time. Searching for this kind of software, your top consideration has to be integration. What's going to integrate across your other products? existing ecosystem and what you're running on your computer and your office servers. Uh, for us, we were using Microsoft and it's a 365 product. We went with that. If you're not using Microsoft, if you're using more independent or a diverse suite, uh, you might want to shift to Dropbox or another cloud-based storage system.